Hi, folks! Considering the restrictive laws against digging fossils in China and a long tradition of counterfeiting, the fossils from this region are rather oddities in Western countries. Nevertheless, a few of them do make it through and are worth looking at, just to have a glimpse of the uncharted territory and to start developing an appreciation for what comes up on the surface when Chinese scientists roll up their sleeves and start digging. Let's start with typical examples of Jurassic insects. The specimen you see supposedly comes from Inner Mongolia, in the Ningqing area near Daohugao. The age of the deposits known as the Jiulongshang Formation is debated, but most recent studies suggest it's around 164 million years old. This particular insect looks like it could possibly be a scorpion fly, a mechopteran, just a guess. Detailed imprints of insects formed in warm, lakeside environments with volcanoes nearby. Those volcanoes periodically added toxic gases into the atmosphere, mixed with fine-grained ash. Bugs that lived in the water or flew nearby got caught in the mess, sank to the bottom, and got covered in volcanic ash. These circumstances resemble those occurring during the deposition of the famous Green River Formation, which is also known for intricate insect fossils in addition to leaves and fish. Layers upon layers were formed after similar events of volcanic nature. Splitting these ancient sediments can reveal clues about what ecosystems look like at a time when reptiles were top predators. Small, round shells are often found alongside the insects, and plenty of larvae, which also likely inhabited the fresh water. By the way, the shells could belong to conchostracans, shrimp-like creatures with bivalve exoskeletons, also called clam shrimp. Fascinating, right? Now, let's move on to much older rocks. What you see is a specimen of an early arthropod, which can be scientifically described as the Kingmingella Dovillae species, from the early Cambrian Myotonshan Shale, Yunnan Province, China. The dorsal view of the specimen shows a foldable bivalve carapace, or shield, in an open or butterfly position, with no posterior appendages visible in this case. A tiny creature with two eyes, the blobby structures on the front side at the edge of the valves. The reddish stripes could represent some kind of pigmentation. By the way, Braderida, the group that Kumingela belonged to, had a cardiovascular system, and liked well-oxygenated places. But a similar group, ostracods, preferred a low-oxygen environment. Remember, life had to adapt and deal with fluctuating oxygen levels in the early phases of evolution. There are examples when modern ostracods hide in mucus nests, creating hypoxic environment during the day when photosynthesis is active. Conmingella seem to be mobile, epibentic organisms that actively explore the sediments in search for food. Our next sample is an example of a Cambrian trilobite, a tentative Hongxia naspis from Yunnan province. Pale brown mudstone fossiliferous rocks in Yunnan are known to contain remnants of a number of primitive trilobite species and other animals of early Cambrian fauna. The assemblage of organisms that lived and died there about 515 million years ago is called Changjiang biota. It is somewhat similar to the famous Birch shale biota in Canada, but five million years older. China designated the entire Shale National Historical Park in 2001, but the area is vast. The deposits can be 50 meters thick, and phosphate mining activities have a long history in the area. In addition, locals used to enjoy the ability to go to the hills and dig out these prehistoric bugs. The animals from the Cambrian rocks of Yunnan province were bottom dwellers, and the dominating group was early arthropods with soft exoskeletons. No mollusks or echinoids were found. The animals lived in the shallow sea with fluctuating salinity, and perhaps periods of high salinity, when water became brackish, contributed to the excellent preservation of soft bodies. So, sometimes, trilobites with antennae can be found. Thanks for watching! Keep exploring the distant past and see you next time!